This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. Hello viewers, Dom here from Complete Sports Management here to review the game between St Mary's and Ashburton here at Bowling Park to which the Borough have defeated the Redbacks by 61 points. I'm here with the Ashburton coach Brett. Brett, it was a tough game today for your boys, particularly at the start of the game. Halfway through the second quarter, Cameron Monaco went down in a contest and which forced game, to, forced game play to stop and uh, caused the ambulance to come and take him to hospital. We would like an update on his condition and uh, hopefully he'll be all right for the future. What, what is his update on Cameron? Um, as far as I know, uh, I've just heard that he's, um, he's all good. Uh, he was out for 30 seconds or something when he was on the ground. Um, and obviously they had to wait for the ambulance to come. But um, someone said just inside before that he's got the all clear and I think he's already been released. So he, he's, he's okay. That's, good. That's good news for um, Cameron and his family. We've, uh, a couple of players really stood out today. I thought Thomas Moncrief in the half back line, he, he had a lot of uh, traffic, particularly in, that, in the, um, that second half there, but he did as much as he could trying to pro uh, patrol the game. What were your thoughts on his games? Were there any other players, including uh, uh, Flynn as well, who stood out today? Any other players that stood out for you in the tough loss today? Um, yeah, look, Tommy was great across half back. He's been really good all year. Um, Flynn, our captain, you know. He's been fantastic as well. We missed him the first seven or eight games through injury, but since he's come back in, he's really led from the front. Um, also, the Cooper White was really good. He racked up the posies all day. Um, and little Westy out on the wing, his tackling pressure and stuff was uh, fantastic. Yeah. With one game to go, what would be the lessons learned from today's match in, with a top four team in St Mary's? What would be the lessons going into the last game and towards the off-season as the players build for 2017? Uh, well, 20 available players would be handy instead of 18. Um, but look, look we, were, we were under the pump all day today. So next week, it's a lot of the boys' last game ever of junior footy. Yep. Um, so we'll make it all about them. Um, let them enjoy the day. Um, but apart from that, look, St Mary's a quality team. Uh, but I think going into next week, you know, our skills and stuff weren't too bad today. Um, but going into the forward line is something I reckon I learned today that we uh, could really work on. Yeah. Well, bad luck on the result today, but we thank you and we're good luck for next week and hopefully the boys have a real good last junior game for their careers. Thank All you right. for your time. Cheers. Now I'm down here at Bulleen Park with the victorious team, with St Mary's coach Greg Hanlon and with one of their players, Noah Stanley. Greg, today was a really good win just to get back onto the winner's list again after a tough three weeks. I thought Zach Hudson played in the ruck today. He was pretty much a lone hand with um, his mate Nick out today. What, was his, what did you talk to him beforehand with the role of today's game? Oh, yeah, look, we spoke about that he'd have to really push himself hard today. Um, and there was a few areas we knew about Ash Burton there. Ruckman's got quite a big leap on him. So there's a few things we wanted Zach to do to uh, counteract that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're really pleased. Then we did do a small swap with our ruck. Um, Ryan Sinelli stepped into the ruck there for a quarter. And Zach went into the uh, full forward position in the last quarter and done quite a good job kicking three goals there. Yeah. So yeah. quite pleased with his performance overall. Mm. No, we, we've had a really big three weeks for St Mary's. We've had Ivanhoe, Park Orchards and Fitzroy last week. I suppose Ashburn was a little bit of a little bit of an easier opponent. So I just wanted to ask, how was the three weeks for you before today's game? Yeah, the three weeks before felt it was pretty good intensity. It's like finals intensity, it felt like. So, you know, it really tested up the boys out. So it was really good just to, you know, feel the finals intensity and just get ready for it, I guess. Yeah, Greg, what were your thoughts on that? Oh, today I really wanted the boys to play like it was a finals match. Mm. You know, we needed to win this game to cement a spot in the top four. And we wanted to have that same approach, you know, man on man, strong attack. The last three weeks, you know, it's been a real challenge for us. And, you know, two of those games we dropped off for about 10 minutes. Mm. And uh, we didn't want to do that today. Yep. Yeah. Well, next week you've got Bullying 10 back here at Bullying Park. What would be the focus going into that game as it's the last round of the regular season before finals? Oh, look, uh, for us, again, I want to play football like it's a finals match. So it's going to be high intensity, it's going to be physical, and the ball's going to move fast. And Bullying Temp, they're a strong tie, and, you know, it's not a uh, given that we'll win a match. 
in, in this league. It's really close and they're quite tough opponents. Yeah. No, we've been speaking a lot about finals lately, so I'm getting the feeling that you're pretty keen for finals to start as well. Yeah, I'm pretty keen, you know, so hopefully we can get the win this week and p keep pushing through the finals and hopefully get to the end, so it'll be good, good to see. Well, well done today, boys. Thank you for your time and good luck for next week as well as finals coming up, and we thank you for your time immensely. This is Dom here signing off at Bullion Park. Make sure you click back and complete sports management here as we see St Mary's and a few other teams compete for finals. With one round to go, the, the, um, the pressure is really ramping up. Thanks for your time. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.